similar to any steering rack you see on any other automobile. A battery pack. Now these batteries, they call them a pack for a reason. There, there are small cells, so to speak, and just, just to keep them simple, they take a variety of cells and they just tie them all together, put them into a pack. From, from, uh, from the Philadelphia region, Clay cities, we basically have split the state in half and saying I take everything on the west side, east side, but sometimes we cross over. We, we actually have went to the state and said, listen, we want to we want to very we want to start a green fleet program, um, similar to what the Ohio has in, in their green fleet program, because to be able to get people to sign up and to be able to, to recognize, we just had Giant Eagle recognized by the governor um, for their things in, in green energy. Here is a, it's another industry afternoon, like we need another one. We call this Hefty, and Hefty stands for hydroelectric vehicle training. This as kind of a multifaceted device. It's designed, of course, for an educator for different classes, for automotive technicians, uh, for first responders, for training them on responding to an accident involving an alternative vehicle. But it's also designed uh, for outreach education and uh, to educate the public on what these vehicles are about. Uh, we've had it done for about three months. It's already visited multiple shows. Uh, it was involved in the Science and Technology Fair in Washington, D.C. It was actually its first event where 60,000 uh, secondary students were able to come through and be educated on uh, what kind of... We removed the panels, removed the hood, and made it visible um, to um, technicians and the public, the different components. Now, something you might see uh, attached to the three sides of the car is we have iPads. With these iPads, are going they have a scan application installed on them that scans QR codes. We've labeled uh, a lot of the uh, systems and components that are unique to electric drive vehicles with a QR code. So what we'll we invite people to do in the classroom and also in conferences or trade shows, pick up an iPad, scan the code, and what it links back to the NEFTC's website where you can get basic and technical details of that. So this is actually the 2012 uh, Mitsubishi vehicle. It's actually been in production. It's been in production in uh, Japan for a while. It made it to the States uh, last fall into California. And it's been in, the, in this area, the eastern uh, section of the United States, since uh, the spring. We have actually have sold three of them. They're already on the road. Uh, this is 100% electric. And now, uh, uh, as uh, Rick was mentioning, with all these cars as we're getting them, we are giving them the uh, quick charge option. So this actually can plug to 110, 220, or you can do the quick charge on it. Uh, I do have three of them that are available on our lot, you know, ready for sale for anybody that's uh, looking to, uh, you know, test drive any of them. Uh, like I said, phenomenal vehicles on a full charge. A car will give you anywhere between 60 to about 90 miles, depending on the area that you're using and how much of the options on the interior that you are using. But uh, they, uh, they do handle real well. They have all the safety options to them. And if you actually open the car and look inside of it, it is designed to fit four adults. It does have four seat belts. So don't get discouraged by the size of it. It is actually very, very spacious on these. Uh, this vehicle is an all purpose built uh, vehicle built in Mishawaki, Indiana. Uh, it's called the uh, MB1, uh, built by the vehicle production. It has the same drivetrain as the Ford Crown Victoria from the, from the engine. It's a dedicated natural gas vehicle. Uh, it has wheelchair accessibility, which I'll show you how that works right now. This uh, allows for the wheelchair to be uh, right up the ramp and then tied down right in front so the passenger rides up front with the driver. I like a lot of rear engine type vehicles. Uh, again, this is a dedicated uh, CNG vehicle. And the applications uh, sit three feet on the back. There's a jump seat so you can get four people and a passenger in front. Uh, this vehicle is built from the ground up, so it's durable, it's been tested, it's built in America, it runs on American fuel, and uh, has American drivers, uh, veterans driving it as well. We have a veterans uh, training program in place for this, and uh, we plan on opening up in about 10 different states in the very near future. Are you operating these now? Yes, you are operating in the city of Pittsburgh. We have 25 vehicles already, about 10 of them are in operation. Uh -huh. We have all of Allegheny County and Butler County, so we're uh, operating as we speak. 2010 Honda Civic 
I recently had the uh, 2012 Honda Civic for five months, brand new. I put 5,800 miles on it, averaged almost 32 miles a gallon city and highway. And uh, these are these here are the only vehicle right as of now coming off the assembly line. I believe it's since about '98. I believe they 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 had or '95. They run these things phenomenal. I never paid more in Pittsburgh than eleven dollars and ninety six cents to fill it up in those five months. In fact, a lot of it I was getting free. Thank you to Giant Eagle and Fight and all those who allow me to do that. Uh, we've taken these things to, to tech schools. We've taken it. We've had them do that. We do, we do ride drives with these in our Odyssey Day and our CNG uh, vehicle, but this vehicle is really starting to